Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Vex, and this time we're just gonna watch me in the past completing the rest of the hearts <laughs> successfully. Uh, this is typically something I don't like to do because I don't like to make myself look better than I actually am. But you guys know how bad I actually am, so I figured instead of <laughs> making you sit through the uh, over an hour of fail footage, I just put the rest of the hearts all in one video in their successful attempts and then do post commentary. So yeah. So this first heart is... what is this? I don't even... I think this is the... Oh, this is the third heart, yeah, that I couldn't get in the last episode, or the last couple episodes. <laughs> and I kept uh, putting it off, but now I'm actually going to do it. That last, that last uh, weird platform just kept getting me, and uh, after, after uh, we recorded, I actually took the time to try to figure out how to jump across it, and it actually wasn't too bad when you uh, get the pattern down, but it's, it's a weird pattern, so <laughs> it's understandable, you know. Um, so yeah. Uh... I think Vex is going to end in a couple episodes, most likely. I, I, I still haven't fought the final boss, so I don't know how that's going to go, but I'm figuring it's going to be uh, probably just one video. It may be a really long video, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking just one more video after this. So... Yeah, I, I don't really don't know what I'm going to do for my next LP yet. Uh, I have a few ideas, but honestly, I, I don't decide until the day I'm actually recording it, so... <laughs> Alright, so here we are. We're, we're at the, uh, the wacky platform. So what I decided to do was just stick to one side and just wait for the... wait for it to switch back like that. And if you just keep doing that, it's really easy. <laughs> Actually. And then I just long jumped. Ugh, that made it look so much easier. And booyah. Booyah with the, got the heart there, yes. My god. It just, just that one part was just giving me so much trouble before. Ugh, I freaking hate that. It's just the weirdest platform ever. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to transition into the Soul Jar mission and go from five lives to three lives. But uh, it actually, I went through a game over. Uh, so I actually lost more like seven lives. But, you know. Uh, yeah, it was pretty painful. It's just. I, I had to try to figure out how to get all these in the safest possible route. So, figured this way would be the, the safest, sort of, to go to go for first because it's pretty much the most dangerous. <laughs> but yeah, like all the soul jars, there's two in each of the three main paths in this one chamber, so. You basically have to go through all three of them uh, without dying and back again. <laughs> it's, it's pretty awful. I can't believe they made you do this in this level, but I mean, it, honestly, I can understand difficult stuff for, for trying to get 100%. If they actually give you something, for 100%. This game doesn't. They don't... You don't get any extra levels. You don't get any bonuses. It's... It's nothing. You don't get anything for 100%. It's just for your own... Per perfectionist, completist... self. Which, unfortunately, I, I'm not really a completionist. So this was just for the sake of... being a... Somewhat decent LP of this game. <laughs> Although, 
was it was nice to challenge myself. I, I haven't really played it uh, too challenging of a game yet on my channel. So this is this is definitely the first challenging thing I've done. Probably not going to do another one for a while because it's, it was stressful. <laughs> Actually, it was it wasn't too bad, I guess. It was just a lot of cutting and a lot of yeah, just cutting. I don't, I don't like cutting stuff out. You know, like I don't like failing at something so much that I have to cut to a successful thing. I, I, I've done it in almost all of my LPs at one point, but I mean, not not to the extent that this game made me do it. <laughs> so I don't know. It just seems really messy. It's really messy. <laughs> But whatever. Man, I tell you what, bouncing off these freaking enemies to get this soul jar is so freaking difficult. You have to push uh, the... You have to do the little high jump right as you hit the, an enemy's head. And you never learn how to do that throughout the entire game. You somehow have to figure it out for that soul jar. It's ridiculous. So ridiculous. But yeah, if you push L to... Er, yeah, if you push the left trigger too early, you do that little ground slam, and you could end up losing all the enemies. And then you'd screw yourself over. But yeah, I found out you could just drop down right there to get that one. Look how tiny that is. It's just a little square. Oh my god. I mean, not only are these soul jars spread all over the place in here, they're, they're difficult to get. <laughs> it's the cruelest thing ever. Ugh, stupid skinks. Oh, man. Alright, so now I'm gonna take this path. So I figure it's the it's the greater of two evils. And doing doing the evil stuff first is probably to my advantage. Because if I do the easy stuff and then do the hard stuff and die, then I'm just gonna rage more. <laughs> Although actually in the soldier thing. It turned out the engine rings part was actually the hardest for me because I kept getting hit by the engine rings and dying. So it's... Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. All these paths are pretty evil in their own way. I'm still amazed I could get through this weird spinning thing so easily. It's... I don't get it. <laughs> It looks like the most dangerous type of platform ever. But really, there's just so many ledges you could grab onto that it's actually a lot safer than it looks. Especially if you just like aim for the aim for the corners, because there's a little more land mass. Yes, <laughs> or something. I don't know. So this one of the first soul jar on this side is right there. This is pretty easy to get, but it's also really easy to miss. Which actually one of my attempts I did miss it. And I got to five jars and or no, maybe maybe four jars. But I, I remembered that I missed that one. So here I was just looking around, being like, oh, is there a fast way down? And it kind of is, but not not really. <laughs> I tell you what, I, I I used that uh that uh long jump to skip skip difficult parts quite quite a bit in this LP. It's very nice. Wow! Oh my god. Jeez, look how much damage I took. Ugh. At this point, I was like, ah, oh, Jesus, if I get hit again, I'm dead. I'm freaking dead. <laughs> and some of the earlier attempts, I tried to jump down straight from here into the engine rings area, and that was a bad idea, because you're basically entering these, these spinning rings from above, like, parallel with their axis of rotation, which uh, actually increases your odds of getting hit, which I did few times. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I gave up on that plan. 
I think this was the first attempt after I decided to stop doing that, so... Oh, yes. Jeez. I was so close to death. I can't believe I pulled out of this. Man. In fact, I think I backtracked just to get health. Although, I don't know if that was this or... The shard mission. God. Actually, the soul jar was harder for me than the shards. Because the shards, you could actually, you know, go to other areas, not just this room of death. This room is just awful. Yeah, yeah, I actually backtracked to get health. This is probably a, a good idea. I definitely got hit again, I think, by the engine rings. You know that, that weird, like, one that I could never get through without getting hit? Yeah. I think that's what hit me. It's, it's just... I can't, I can't get through it without getting hit. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> There's plenty of enemies out here to refill on health. Isn't that special? Oh man. Man, look look at the citadel from outside. That, that entrance is so freaking sweet. And every once in a while those orbs will like pulsate with uh I don't know. Oh yeah, I was looking for uh <laughs> the gravestone that gives you infinite health or whatever. Even though I had full health, but whatever. Yeah, those little balls, sometimes they pulse with, uh, like, rings of energy. And it looks really... Yeah. Right there. Oh, yeah. Sweet. It's amazing how such a tiny, tiny place can turn into such a huge death room. Oh, boy. Alright, through the engine rings... I'm still amazed I was able to 100% this game <laughs> without completely rage quitting. Although I don't really rage, maybe that's why. I'm just like immune to rage. That's not that's not entirely true. I mean, if I wasn't LPing this, I probably would have just given up because I don't I don't like to play games to frustration levels. That <laughs> this game put put forth. You know. These rings. You, you gotta like just zone out and just kind of not focus on the other rings. <laughs> just focus on the ring that matters. And that's how you do that, pretty much. It's, it's really weird. If you're if you're paying attention to all those rings, you just you're not gonna be able to focus. Been over. These rings, I don't, I don't get these. You could just high jump over them without even, without even timing it or anything. Although one time I did get hit, I remember. So here's this. I'm just like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna make it through. I'm just gonna. Wait, what did I do here? Are you gonna high jump in there? Yeah, you better high jump. Uh, <laughs> I was trying not to get hit, but I think I did again. Maybe I maybe I was just too close. That could be it. Maybe I was just too close to him. So when I jump forward, I just hit. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Wow, that was close. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but I. I can't remember, did I ever get through there without getting hit? I know I said I I did, but I don't know if that's true. Anyway, there's the last soul jar. And look where the heart appears at the beginning. That little the hub. So I have to backtrack now. It's, ugh. It's so freaking cruel. But luckily I don't have to go through that troll tower again. Troll spiral. 
Let's go over here. Now at this point I was freaking out. I was like, oh god, the heart's there. We can't screw this up. So I was taking it really, really, really carefully. Oh boy. <laughs> and it's weird, like, you wouldn't think going through the same section backwards would look different, but this looks like so much different, so much more different to me for some reason. Luckily, I got through it okay. It's, these rings are just, they just mess with your eyes. <laughs> like, look, look at that, you can barely even see that thing pass by. Okay. So here I was like, okay, I better not fall. <laughs> We never went this way because I was always jumping down. So that's that's the the way they kind of direct you is those skinny little platforms. Anyway, there it is. Oh, sweet justice, the heart. I don't even care about that skinks thing. Dragonfly. Yes. All right. So there's one more heart, and it's the shard mission. So I will just stop talking <laughs> and uh, play for you some delightful calming Legend of Dragoon music dedicated to Mr. Forty Warrior and his leetness in Legend of Dragoon
Oh yeah! The heart finally! <laughs> the last heart of the game! So Vex has been officially 100% And all that's left is the final boss, which is as difficult as you can imagine. <laughs> so yeah, next episode should be full of fail as well. Although this wasn't really fail, but you understand. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time for the end of Vex.